What's going on guys? It is Christmas Day. Um, I got some free time to myself. I uh, just hit the gym, did a little bit of things here and there. Figured today would be a good day to start ripping apart the engine bay on the GTR. Um, it is a nice, warm, I don't know, 25 degrees in here. Uh, definitely not stoked about that, but what are you going to do? Uh, this place takes forever to heat up with that heater right there, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, let's go ahead get over here see what we got as you can see we have a fully dressed engine base still um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the easy stuff anything that's removable like the uh, catch can the tanks those are both empty already um, I do have to end up pulling off the fenders so I can pull the harnesses through so uh, I can try and do that today too and you know i gotta pull the headlights all that stuff because i am going to be painting the whole bay and uh it's gonna look really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and push this thing back a little bit um see if i can get a little bit more light over here definitely don't want to take the hood off just because i don't have anywhere anywhere to put it um and i'm gonna get going All right, so the SD card got full and uh, I didn't realize and I kind of kept going. Here we got, uh, you know, we got the fenders off. Um, we got the front of the car kind of like disassembled. The uh, little tie bar, the AC condenser, it's actually in the trunk. And you know, you know, all the uh, other miscellaneous stuff, fan stuff like that's over there. Of course, I do have some big old um, storage containers. I'm gonna put all this stuff in. Um, I obviously just left it at my shop and wasn't really thinking about it. I'm going to go ahead and put these fenders in my room where they're going to be safe. And uh, not too sure how much more I'm going to do today. Um, I got some Christmas things going on. So for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and get this regulator and bracket out of the way. Um, I'll probably loosen up some of these harnesses, get them unclipped from the chassis. Um, same with over there. And... and uh, might get these wheel wells out of here. They're kind of a pain with the wheels on, so I might not do that, but I don't know. We'll see, I'll keep going, and uh, she's coming along.
or it was just plumbed incorrectly or wired incorrectly, so obviously we'll hang on to that. Gotta get wired into the output on the hall tank, which it was not, so you guys go with that. Get that guy. These are all M6 bolts. Not worry about it. I figured it out. Alrighty guys, so this is where I'm going to have to stop today, unfortunately. Um, it is Christmas, so I do have to uh, go hang out with family and uh, the girl and all that. So here's where we're at so far. We got one side of the harness out of the engine bay. Got this area cleaned up. Definitely have some clips to take out. Um, don't want to break those. Those are pretty rare. Um, this side, haven't really touched it too much. You know, we got the MAF um, harness right there, that engine harness. That guy goes through there, out there. I gotta disassemble the brake master or uh, the the brake master and the ABS pump because the ABS pump is gonna go bye bye. Um, I have to get these AC lines out of here as well, and then of course all of the uh, hard lines for the power steering. Some of those are gonna get chopped off or blocked off, or and uh, basically just gotta do each corner. And this engine bay is pretty much stripped. Of course, I still have to go and uh, pull some of these things out and take the bumpers out, but solid progress. We've only been on it for like an hour or two. Just kind of been taking my time. My back hurts, so I can't really bend down too well, um, but stay tuned for the next one. We should have this thing fully stripped, and hopefully we can go ahead and get that short block over to JP. Catch you guys in the next one.